nuts, I like Funyuns, make me go nuts, I like supersized meals, where's my sauce, bitch, I'm a blow up, I like toast with avocados, and just a pinch of salt, so what I like to eat, it's all my daddy's fucking fault, I like Netflix and my checks mix, wearing pink pajama pants, I like provolone and all the What is up, all you beautiful people? What's up, you guys? Today, we are doing wing stop. Yes, I finally got my wing stop, like I told you guys before. I wanted to do it for Monday's video. Turns out they ran out of chicken. So I called today and I'm like, hey, homegirl wants some chicken. Y'all got it in stock? And they were like, yeah. So I said, all right. So I got my chicken. And today we're gonna be trying two new flavors from wing stop. This is the ancho chili honey. And this one is the <laughs> uh, shit, I forgot. Hold on, let me check. It's like, um, it's lemon pepper, but it's a different type of lemon pepper. It is, um, let me see. Wing combo. The It's Harissa lemon pepper. Oh, there we go. And then I have the spicy Korean with some Cajun fries. I have my um, carrots and celery ranch, and then a grape Sprite. <laughs> Let's try this, y'all, because I am hungry. Okay, I am going to try the, what is it called again? Something lemon pepper. I'm burnt. Oh, I should have tried it without ranch first. Mmm. I can do it. It's good. It has a lot more citrus taste than the regular lemon pepper. That must be the Harissa lemons. And then this one is the ancho chili and honey. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm. -hmm. The twins are hungry. Mmm. So how are you guys all doing today? I am doing fabulous. Now that I have my wings stop. Mmm. I've been craving Wingstop forever. And I finally got it. Mm -hmm. So. Today's video is going to be Confidence Talk with Crystal Marie Eats, Part 2. I've been doing more reading. Um, I found a lot of good articles that I want to read to you guys. Me doing, oops. Me doing this and reading this stuff, you guys, it's really helping me too. Not just being confident within myself, but it's helping me to be more confident with my work, more confident with 
doing my mukbang, being more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, not thinking, oh, well, I shouldn't do this because I'm worried about what people are going to say in the comments. Or what people are going to think if I do something I've already done. So I'm helping myself while I'm trying to help you guys. And it's crazy. Because going into this, I wasn't thinking of myself. I was thinking about how I can help you ladies or men who are struggling with confidence. So, I read this article. It's called entrepreneur.com. Um, it talks about building all over, all around confidence. Confidence. Not just, like I said, not just being body positive or confident within the way you look. It's literally digging deeper so that you can be the most confident person you can be. So... Visualize yourself as you want to be. Now, when you think about that, the quote that comes with this says, what the mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. So what's that, what that is saying is, what you believe you can do, you can achieve it. Your mind is the most powerful muscle in your body. It controls everything. But you can't let it control you. Visualize... Visualize... What? Vis, what? <laughs> Visualization is a technique of seeing an image of yourself that you are proud of. In your own mind. When we struggle with low self-confidence, we have a poor perception of ourselves that is often inaccurate. Practice visualizing a fantastic version of yourself and achieving your goals. Now that is deep. That is like, I mean, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Your mind is so powerful. You have to convince yourself that I am proud of who I am. I love the person that I am. You have to be proud of who you are. Regardless of how others see you, they don't matter. Nobody else matters when it comes to yourself. You have to look at yourself and you have to say, if I'm not the best version of myself, how can I become the best version of myself? How can I make myself become the person that I'm proud to be? Not everybody's proud of themselves. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has messed up in their lives. And you know what, honey? You can't go back and change that. Once it's done, it's done. People want to relive these scenarios in their head and they want to live based off of things that have happened in the past and they let that become them. Like, how can I say this without sounding like a complete asshole? So say somebody's sick and 
you meet them or you um, have a conversation with them, sometimes the first thing they bring to your attention is the fact that they are sick or I suffer from this or I have this or I'm not trying to pinpoint anybody specifically. I'm not trying to say that everybody's like that. But there is some people who want the attention of being sick. They use it as, feel sorry for me, which, hey, sometimes we need that. We want people to feel pity for us. But whenever you use that and that becomes who you are, when someone speaks to you, they're going to say, oh, this girl that I know with this sickness, or I know somebody who has this sickness or that sickness, or people with mental health, people refer to them as, oh, that's the person with this mental disorder, or that's the person with this mental disorder. You're painting a picture of how people see you. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. And I feel that sometimes we need to not focus so much on the negative, focus more on the positive. Now, the other one that I was reading was, hold on, let me find it. Okay, question your inner critic. You have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked. Try approving of yourself and see what happens. So, in this article, some of it says some of the harshest, har harshest comments that we come, oh wait, some of the harshest comments that we get come from ourselves via the voice of the inner critic. If you struggle with low self-esteem, there is a possibility that your inner critic has become overactive and inaccurate. So, what this is saying is, we put ourselves down more than anybody else possibly could. When you look in the mirror, you're looking at all the negative things about yourself. Look at my belly. Oh my gosh, I'm getting wrinkles. My gray hair is showing. I do it too. It sucks getting older. It sucks seeing that gray hair grow. It sucks when you're putting on your makeup and you're trying to fix it and you're trying to make it blend out so nice to you can't see your wrinkles. You know, the... Oh, Betsy double chin's coming through. We're putting ourselves down thinking like that. I hear it all the time. Oh, honey, when I, when I was 21, I had perky twins and, you know, a flat stomach. And look at me now and... I do it to myself. When I'm wearing a head wrap, it's because I haven't dyed my hair in two weeks and I'm fully gray. I could grow gray hair that women wish they could have. Why I don't grow it all the way out? Because I'm self-conscious about the process. I'm self-conscious about me aging. Yeah, I am. It sucks. But it's life, so you have to embrace it. And this is something that, that I need to teach myself also, because getting old, <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> but hey, it's something that's going to happen, and you just have to see the beauty in it. I have women who come into my shop, 
and I will sit there and they get their hair done. They're still getting their nails done. They go out shopping. They're embracing the age. You know what I mean? And it's so flattering to me when people tell me, what, you're 35? I would have thought you were in your 20s. That's so flattering to me, but it doesn't have to be flattering to me. We have to put ourselves in a place where we can look in the mirror and be okay with the aging and be okay with, hey, I got a gut. If I'm not okay with it, then do something about it. But don't judge yourself based on aging or gaining some weight or, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. We have to stop critiquing ourselves because like it says, we ourselves are our biggest critic and most people don't even pay attention to what we criticize ourselves about. You know, I watch uh, Facebook Live makeup tutorials. I came across this woman, beautiful woman, beautiful makeup, Wingstop has the suckiest napkins ever, absolutely beautiful, she was born with no arms, she goes on live and does her makeup with her feet. The first time she popped up on my timeline, I looked at, I, I'm like, what? She's blending her eyeshadow beautifully. Her eyeliner is straight. She puts her lashes on. She has kids that she tends to. Talk about woman empowerment right there. I was blown away at the fact that this woman had the courage to go on camera, she talks about how she was shamed her whole life and people made fun of her and she looked past that and said she didn't care. And look, she's making a career out of something that was so negative in her life. She's making money now. She's showing these people, look, I have no arms, none. And she's sitting here showing everybody, if I can do it, you can do it too. Now, damn, if that wasn't so inspiring to me, you guys have no idea. No idea. I was literally like in tears and I'm such a big fan of her now. And do I look at her like she's just somebody that goes on live and has no arms? No, I'm looking at her like you're a bad bitch. Look at that makeup. The fact that she has no arms, I don't even think about it. Yeah, she tells stories about growing up and, you know, being self-conscious and people making fun of her and she found love. She's married. She has kids. So regardless of your struggles, you can do it. You can do it. You have to put yourself out there. You have to not worry about what other people think. And you have to stop putting yourself down. Putting yourself down is only keeping that negativity in your head. And honey, we don't need it. Nope. We do not need that at all. So the next time... You're in the mirror. I want you to point out five positive things about yourself. I'm going to do this too. Take a lipstick, eyeliner, marker, dry erase preferably, and I want you to write those five things on your mirror. 
And every day you go and you look in the mirror, I want you to read those five things to yourself and I want you to add another one. When you guys do this after one week, will you please, whether it be on Instagram, whether it be in the comment section of this video, whether you want to, you know, private message me, I want you to please message me everything that you wrote down. I would love to see it. And our next confidence talk, I'm going to list my mirror list of stuff that I wrote for myself. And I want to share it with you guys. So please, please do that for me. And if you don't, then that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to share what you wrote down, that's perfectly fine. But please, if you're struggling with confidence and you take a negative outlook on things, then just try this positivity test with me. Read them back to yourself. And let's change the way we think. And I say we because, like I said, you guys, I'm right there with you. I'm as confident as they come. But there is a lot of things that I'm not confident about. So, I am working with you guys. Okay, uh, this is going to be um, probably the last one because I tend to babble on after a subject that I bring up. And I think I have enough food for one more. <laughs> okay. And this ties into the last topic also. To establish true self... Wait, to establish true self-confidence, we must concentrate on our success and forget about the failures and the negatives in our life. Too many people are discouraged about their abilities because they set themselves goal, self goals that are too difficult to achieve. Start by setting yourself a small goal so that you can win easily. Yes, I am setting this goal for you guys doing self-confidence mirror it's kind of like mirror mirror on the wall who is the prettiest of them all and you're going to say yourself because you are now I want to talk about with this subject people the people you surround yourself with. There is, hold on. There is, wait. I don't want to touch on those yet. Um, give me one second. Where is it? Anyways. I can't find it right now. It's somewhere in here, but there's a long list. So, I got some messages after my last confidence talk. A lot of them had to do with self-confidence. But a lot. A lot had to do with the people they surround themselves with and you uh, that has to be the biggest heartbreak being around jealous sneaky rude people that can tear you down 
So, I got this one message, and I'm not going to say names or I'm not going to read what it wrote. Her husband called her the worst things tearing that flew out my gap tearing her down every single day like she left her family for this guy she changed her last name for this guy she buried his kids. Do you say, is that how you say it? Carried his kids. Is an awesome mom. Lives for him. And he puts her down every single day. She's not good enough. She's gained some weight. She's let herself go. And mind you, she is not an ugly woman. Yeah, she may not get dressed up every day, but who can when you have kids? <clears throat> who can when you're catering to a selfish chauv male chauvinistic pig and I don't feel that way about all males but this guy needs a kick in the ass from what she told me I was like why would you stick around with that putting him putting that negativity into her head of course she's going to be self-confident. This is the person that's supposed to love you regardless. And for them to put you down every day, of course. You're not going to want to put that dress on. You're not going to want to get dressed up and make yourself feel good. Because for what? Friends. scapegoaters people who talk about you and your flaws to take the attention off of themselves or to get a laugh or to get a reaction out of people you don't need those kind of people in your life those aren't your friends I'm sorry Friends are supposed to uplift you. Friends are supposed to make you feel confident. They're supposed to hype you up and they are supposed to make you feel like you can conquer the world. That's what a true friend is. Not somebody who's going to put you down and make fun of you and talk about you behind your back. That's not a friend. Choose who you hang around with wisely. Because guess what? You can have a whole basket of apples. But you put one rotten apple in that basket, and guess what? They're all turning rotten. That is not what we need. That's not going to uplift us. That's going to make us rot. It's going to make us mold, and we are just going to be thrown in the trash. And we are not trash, honey. We are not. You got to choose who you hang around with wisely. Just because you've known someone for 20 years doesn't mean that they're good for you. Absolutely not. You gotta weed out those bad apples. Start fresh. You guys, there's plenty of forums. There's plenty of Google websites that can help you. There's millions of people in this world to be stuck with assholes. So, 
that is going to conclude Confidence Talk with Crystal Part 2. Ooh. I really hope that this subject touched some of you guys. I hope it was relevant to some of you guys. Because the whole reason that I'm doing this is to help, like I said, you guys and myself. Anybody needing it? Please. Please. Do the mirror. Let's hear all the beautiful things about you guys. I want to hear it. All of you guys are beautiful. You know, with your beautiful words. Your beautiful faces that show up on my comments. The beautiful faces that like all my pictures on Instagram. You're all beautiful to me. No matter what age, what size, what color. You're all beautiful. And with that being said, I am done. This was delicious. These two new flavors were awesome. I would like to <clears throat> thank you guys for all of the positivity you guys show me every day. It's absolutely amazing. Um, if you would like to send me something, I'm going to be doing a mail time video. I have a couple stuff put away. My P.O. box is in the description. I will ask my boyfriend if he can add the P.O. box right here also. Whether it be a letter or anything, you guys, go ahead and send it my way. You'll get a shout out in my video. And I would love to have something from you. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Um, all my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for taking a chance on me. All my ride or dies, you guys already know I see you. And yeah, I love you all, and I will see you in my next mukbang. Peace!